Welcome to Dixon Photography. We spend one and a half days in Düsseldorf and I have here two cameras. Here I have the Fuji X-T20 and the Canon 6D with the 50mm f1.2. You see it up here. And these are the images straight from the camera. It was really raining uh, really strong here, but um, you don't see it in the pictures. And this camera has Wi-Fi, so I, um, I got my phone and when I was on the train back home, I put the pictures onto my phone, so it's easier to, to see here. So these are the same images, so let's first take a look at the uh, pictures from the Canon 6D and then the Fuji. So let me see if I can get it sharp. Okay, so we were about two days in Düsseldorf and I went there to photograph people on the streets. And here are the pictures I took with the 50mm f1.2 lens from Canon at f1.2. These are unedited, straight from the camera. And I, I always shot at f1.2 just to see does this lens work at f1.2 or should I use it at a different f-stop and maybe a little bit brighter like this and so let's just go through some of, some of the images and uh, these are all the JPEGs straight from the camera and the Canon 6D has a Wi-Fi function so I can put all the images onto my phone while I'm in, in the train and uh, as I always say you don't really see the bad weather I mean uh, you see the umbrella and you see the the people around also with umbrellas but uh, other than that uh, you don't have to see the rain when it rains it depends on what you choose in your frame and all these pictures I took during the rain and you will see it in the videos that will come in the following weeks where you see me really <laughs> wet from the rain so but on the images you don't see it and uh, sometimes we want to take pictures and don't do it maybe because it's raining or the weather is not nice or it's cold and actually uh, it's not an excuse I mean I have the same moments when I go out and think will this be a good day will it work are there actually people that I like to photograph? Will they say yes? And all the questions I have, they all disappear once I start talking to people. Once I'm in the field, all the questions turn away. Now this was the first day. That, that was really nice weather on the first day. The second day was <laughs> raining all the time. Now this is in, in Düsseldorf and uh, Düsseldorf is a very nice fashion city and also a rich city. You see many expensive cars here, especially in this street. Uh, Aston Martin, Porsche, you, you will see these cars a lot. And uh, interesting people with an interesting fashion style. Now these are all shot at f1.2 with the 50mm lens on the Canon 6D. JPEG unedited straight from the camera. And I had another camera with me, the Fuji X-T20 with a 35mm 35, 35 uh, f2.0. Now these are all the Canon files. I had these two cameras with me and I wanted actually to use both. I did also use the Fuji but I m mostly used the Canon because shooting a 50mm at f1.2 is just really lovely. It's, it's not so easy to get the focus right, to get sharp images, but the 50mm is not actually, it's, it's known to be not sharp. So uh, there are many other lenses that are way sharper and much cheaper. So this lens is not for sharpness, this lens is for character. The 50mm 1.2 you get if you want a really creamy, bokehlicious image with the very distinct look that you will not get with many different other lenses and 
We, <laughs> I talked to this girl before in uh, in a different city, and it was very interesting to see her again with a boyfriend. And I also think these images look really nice. And as always, uh, you 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 don't see much of the background. Uh, you just see the emotion. That's what I always focus on. So when you get the emotion, the background turns to be irrelevant. Okay, so these are some of the images I took uh, during the one and a half days. Uh, many people from Italy actually. And I, th I thought I would just show you these images straight from the camera, which is... Uh, which is here, sorry for the darkness, but that's the way so you can see the screen. Here are all the images in the camera and I showed you uh, the, the screen of the, of the phone is bigger. So I thought I would just put some images onto, onto the phone. And so let's go over to the Fuji and let's take a look at that camera. So now when we have here the Fuji, let's see. So now we have the Fuji here and um, what I see is a really nice sharpness. So when we just zoom in, you can zoom in by double tapping. And uh, this is not a selection, these are all the pictures I took and uh, you can see really crisp detail and I would say that this 35mm 2.0 lens on the Fuji X-T20 is probably sharper than the Canon L 50mm 1.2 lens. And um, now obviously shooting at f1.2 on the Canon will give you a very very shallow depth of field look and shooting at f2.0 on an APS-C camera obviously is sharper because there is more depth of field. But the Fuji cameras also have no AA filter, which means that all the images will look sharper because of the missing AA filter. There are pros and cons to having such a filter in the camera and Canon has these filters which make the images look more soft. Now, I said I took many pictures with the Canon camera and just a few with the Fuji. One reason was it was really raining heavily. I think I was nearly the only person without an umbrella on the street. And um, the Fuji is not well to hold in one hand. Now, I film with the second camera so I have to hold it in one hand. This is a really nice camera, the Fuji, but if you want to use two DSLRs or two cameras at the same time, um, the Canon was just better in my hand and I really, I had the 50mm new as well, so I really wanted to, uh, I really enjoyed the 51.2, it's, the, the Canon camera is very easy to use and so, um, I mostly took pictures with the Canon, but here are some images I took with the Fuji, all in camera. There is no editing and you see it's really sharp. And I don't think that I really focused very well. Um, but when I double tap and I look at the zoomed in pictures, I'm really happy. And yet, even though this these images are sharper than the Canon, images. I really like the Canon images much more. To me it's not about sharpness. Uh, I don't see much value in sharpness. Um, sharpness is very relevant when you turn, when you print very big, very large prints. Then really fine detail sharpness is relevant. For what I mostly do, uh, sharpness to me is not relevant. I don't need my images to be pretty sharp. I want images to have character and uh, I get that character from the way I shoot with the um, with the bouquet in the background and the lens characteristics. So I'm sorry that I had two cameras with me, the Canon and the Fuji. I think the next time I, I should go out only with the Fuji, so I will only use the Fuji. And I think we will do that 
soon. So let's take look, look at some other shots here. Sorry for the uh, for the way I have to present this now. Uh, there is no selection. I did these are all images, and I try to get some uh, just some different ones. So now let me just see. Very sharp, nice colors. Though I think the colors are actually um, you you make the colors with the with the white balance, so you can get these colors on any camera. It do, it doesn't matter if you have a Fuji, a Nikon, a Canon, or a Sony. Uh, but you have to do the 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 white balance manually. You will not get this color on auto white balance. It will never happen. Auto white balance is always going to give you cold images. And especially here when it was raining, all these images would be very cold if I had used the auto white balance. And um, yeah, obviously I'm going to upload more videos where, I, where you see how I took the pictures, where I stand, from where I shoot, what do I do to get a nice uh, facial expression. And yeah, I thought I would just go through some of these images straight in camera. So uh, for those of you who uh, really want to know how do images look like in camera without any editing, without um, all the makeup, you could say. Um, I thought this is a nice way to show you. And I can also make the the camera a little bit brighter so you really see the camera. So let's just open it up. So here's the Fuji, the X-T20 with the 35f 2.0 which is a nice combination it is really nice you have a touch screen you have many autofocus points uh, that are actually work uh, it's a small camera here we have the Canon much bigger uh, though I really like the Canon and I'm so often looking for new cameras and new lenses or a new system. I'm really looking into buying something new, like the Fuji, um, but actually I don't have to. I think this is a really uh, great camera, the Canon, and with the 51.2, which you see here. Um, yeah, I think two different camera systems. The traditional Canon that we all know and we are bought with, with the always the same body. All cameras look the same with the different number here. And now with the Fuji, very modern, vintage, it's different, it's new, it has a touch screen, a tilt screen, and uh, I really want to get excited about it, yet just from the images I have to stick to this one. It's it's just great to shoot with it. And um, yeah, I will upload the videos and with the images, with the edited images from both cameras from these one and a half days in Düsseldorf in the coming days.